Hey now, welcome to Lone Star Mini Restoration, episode 31, I believe. Um, today is really just to show you my rough uh, fit check of the new floorboard and heel board. Um, so, but before I do, I just want to mention a couple things. I'm eating ice cream for two reasons. One, it's hot. Texas weather, right? Two days ago, it was 10 degrees Celsius, and today, I don't know what it is. It's like 20 degrees Celsius. It's much hotter. I think it's like 75, 76 degrees. Um, and the other reason I'm eating this is because I was just under my wife's car. Ugh. Windshield washer fluid is nasty. Let me just tell you. She has a leak in her reservoir. And so here I am. I'm thinking it's empty, right? And so I asked my wife, say, hey, well, I'm crawling into the car. Will you please bring a cup of water out? And uh, we're going to pour it in. And I was going to try to figure out where the leak is. So I'm under the car and I'm looking at the pump. Because usually that's where it's leaking, at the little pump. And... Um, I'm looking at that, and she pours it in, and that stuff just hit me. It went in my mouth and went everywhere. came from every place except for where I would expected it. Um, mm, that's nasty. That's nasty stuff. Um, so I'm eating this, trying to get rid of that taste. But I didn't swallow it. I was just on my tongue. But chocolate and banana is a really good combination. I think it's... Not quite the best. Chocolate and orange is the best, in my personal opinion. Kind of like a club, right? Club biscuit in England. Chocolate and orange. You know, if you're my age, you know what it is. If you're not, then you're missing something. Anyhow, oh, the other thing is, whenever I'm messing with something, in this case, I've had the uh, rear subframe on and off a few times. And so, of course, the bolt, the, the hardware that's on it was the c hardware that came with the car. And, of course, I'm going to replace all the hardware. And as I'm uh, working a particular part, I always like to pick up the hardware. So I'm going to mention what it is in case anybody's ever interested. Um, mm. I get it, and I put it in a bag, and I label the bag a rear subframe. So it's all the hardware, all the brand-new hardware for the rear subframe. So what it is, what you need, the hardware you need to mount the rear subframe is 9 16 takes a half inch socket, but it's 9 16 fine thread. The little nuts that are welded onto the heel board are fine thread nuts. Um, so the bolts that go through the subframe into the heel board are two and a half inch long, 9 16 fine thread. Um, then you've got two bolts going from through the heat, through the rear subframe into the boot floor with the nut on the top side and lock washer and washer. Um, one of those is also a two and a half inches. The, the uh, trunnion on the rear subframe is two different heights. Um, anyhow, one of them is a two and a half inch, nine sixteenths. The other one is one and a quarter, um, nine sixteenths fine thread. So here, I suppose you don't have to use fine thread. It's because it's whatever nut you're going to use on the other side. I just went ahead um, and chose all the same hardware all the way across. But, you know, and something, something funny. This rear subframe was mounted um, with the bolt going up with the nut on the inside of the boot. For some reason in my head, I have always thought slightly different in that particular application. I've always thought, especially for cars, um, if you have a, something on the bottom of your car, right, you want the nut going down. Now, I know it's situational. Um, however, if you have the bolt going down with the nut on the bottom and the nut vibrates loose for some crazy reason, the bolt might stay in there, right? Um, of course, something could drop out depending on the situation, but the bolt would stay in there. However, if you have the bolt going up and the nut twists off on the top side, this bolt's falling out. Just a little tidbit, I guess. You know, here neither here nor there, really. Uh, so I'm probably going to go down with my bolts. Um, mm, one, bit, one tidbit we have found out this past week. Fantastic. Um, my wife never knew her father. Um, consequently, she never knew anything about her father's side of the family. Well, 
we have recently found them. Um, and not only have we found them, we are getting loads of history. And we're absolutely loving it. Well, in this history, in our ancestry, well, so not mine, in her ancestry, she's got loads of Scotsmen. Um, it seems like everybody, and all the Scotsmen's come over and they've married Native Americans. You know, that's kind of interesting, right? Um, but Scotsmen, so we have on her, on her father's mother's side, on her father's father's side, we've got Scotsmen coming out our ears now so I guess I'm gonna have to find in here I'm gonna have to find a coat of arms for Scott Scotland or uh, even I don't have a Scotland flag even I'm, I'm gonna have to add that to my my um, my wall I'm gonna have to find a Scottish anyhow sorry enough of that let me show you the new floor pan I'm excited about it here you have it there's the new floor pan you know it's gonna take quite a bit of tweaking to um, Get it in exactly, get the levels, We've got to measure the heights, the door heights. Um, it still has to go forward. You can see here that it's still kind of, you know, it's in there, but it still needs to go forward a little bit. Um, here's the uh, heel board back here. You can see the whole heel board has to go up a little bit and it also has to come forward. Um, So, but yeah, I mean, as a whole, it's looking cool. Just the fact that there's a new floor pan sitting in there looks good to me. Now, I have to tell you something else that I find really cool. Um, right now, I've got, the, I've got the floor pan holding on the aft side of it, or on the rear side of it. It's just held up. I have my floor um, ramps with uh, floor jacks on top of them, and then the board's kind of holding the floor pan. But you see those two lines in there, the blue bungee cords that come all the way up here? Those two bungee cords run from back to fore, back to the rear. Now, I have to tell you why those bungee cords are there, because I'm actually kind of proud. Um, I love it when my wife and daughters get involved when they're out here helping me, because there are times where I'm scratching my head. Last night was one of those times. I was scratching my head thinking, all right, how am I going to rotate the shell and have the floor remain in place. Of course, I was like, I can hold it while my wife twists the rotisserie and I can kind of crawl under there. I was like, but you know, I didn't really want that. Um, and so I thought, I was just kind of scratching my head and right off the bat, my wife goes, why don't you just get two bungee cords and hold, hold it in place? You know, run the bungee cords the full length of the car and you know, just hold it in place. And I'm like, That's too simple, right? Yes, I could have clamped it here and there and all over the place, um, but for whatever reason, um, I didn't. I, I didn't. But we, so I went and got two bungee cords, and I just ran them from front to the back, and they held that board in or the floor panel in like it was nothing. It was beautiful. We just rotated it, and the floor pan just stayed right there. And then I put the jacks under it. You know, and I love it when my girls do that because they always think outside the box. Well, it's partly because they don't really know how it all goes together, and so they're not limited. Their mind's not limited to, you know, you've got to do this, this, and this. They just think outside the box, and in this particular case, it worked beautifully. Outstanding. Kudos to my wife. My, my wife with Scottish background. Um, mm, sucker melting. It's warm out here. You know, Texas weather, right? Did I mention that already? Two days ago, it was 10 degrees Celsius. Now I'm in shorts, a thin shirt, and it's hot. If I do anything, I'll start sweating. So I'm eating ice cream, but twofold. Um, anyhow, that's it. The floor pan's in. It's looking good. Uh, I am going to play with it tonight. I'm going to start tweaking it a little bit more, get the, get the water line height, take some measurements, and pro possibly clamp it in place once I get it. I'll probably put the, put the subframe, the rear subframe back in, um, get it all nice and neat. Um, anyhow, and that'll be in my next video. But uh, thank you for tuning in, and I hope everybody out there, this is a weekend, so I hope everybody out there had a good weekend. Uh, I did, uh, even though I worked today. But um, all right, bye just now.